This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at factors that affect the boiling points of organic compounds. Let's start by looking at the boiling points of the alkanes. In this table, we have the first 10 members of the alkane homologous series from methane to decane. In the next two columns, we have their molar mass and their boiling point. First, we look at the molar mass. As you can see, the molar mass increases as we go from methane to decane. If we look at the boiling point, we can see that the boiling point also increases as we go from methane to decane. So from this table, we can see that as the molar mass of the compound increases, the boiling point also increases. In the previous slide, we saw that as the molar mass increases, so does the boiling point. Here we have space filling models of the first four members of the alkane homologous series from methane on the left to butane on the right. As the molar mass increases, the surface area of the molecule also increases. This leads to an increase in the strength of the London dispersion forces between the molecules. So as the molar mass increases, the strength of the London dispersion forces between the molecules also increases. More energy is required to overcome the London dispersion forces between the molecules, therefore the boiling point increases. Next we look at another factor that affects the boiling points of organic compounds, which is branched versus straight chain isomers. Here we have two structural isomers with the molecular formula C6H14. Branched isomers have lower boiling points than straight chain isomers. So the isomer on the top will have a lower boiling point than the isomer on the bottom. The branches reduce the contact surface area between molecules, which results in weaker London dispersion forces between the molecules and a lower boiling point. The next factor which can affect the boiling point of organic compounds is the effect of the functional group. Here we have an alcohol, the functional group is the hydroxyl group. If a molecule has a functional group containing a hydrogen atom bonded to an oxygen or a nitrogen, then there will be hydrogen bonding between the molecules. If the molecule has a functional group containing a carbonyl group, which is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, then there will be dipole-dipole forces between molecules. So the presence of a functional group will determine the intermolecular forces between the molecules and also affect the boiling point. So here we have an alcohol, a carboxylic acid and an amide. Alcohols, amides and carboxylic acids have higher boiling points, which means they have low volatility. This is because they are able to form hydrogen bonds between molecules. Here we have an aldehyde, a ketone and an ester. Aldehydes, ketones and esters have dipole-dipole forces between molecules. This means they have lower boiling points and are more volatile. And finally, we have an alkane, an alkene and an alkyne. Alkanes, alkenes and alkynes have London dispersion forces between molecules. Because London dispersion forces are the weakest type of intermolecular force, these have low boiling points and high volatility. Here we have a summary of the effect of the functional group on the boiling point. At the bottom we have the alkanes, the alkenes and the alkynes. These have London dispersion forces between the molecules, they have low boiling points and high volatility. Next we have the esters, the aldehydes and the ketones. These have dipole-dipole forces between their molecules. At the top we have the alcohols, the carboxylic acids and the amides. These are able to form hydrogen bonds between the molecules, meaning they have higher boiling points and low volatility. So let's end with a summary. The factors that affect the boiling point of organic compounds are molar mass, branched or straight chains, and the functional group which determines the intermolecular forces between the molecules.